Come on. Oh, check it out. This game's remote play, too, so you could play this if you wanted to. No! <laughs> no. Oh, thank you. All right. Three, two, one. Howdy, y'all! Welcome back to Tie the Tasmanian Tiger 3, Night of the Quinkin. Uh, Joe's here as always. Hi. He's gonna he's gonna have to do an extra helping of job to keep me sane during this if every mission's gonna be like Duke. <sighs> I would think not, but also. Well, we'll see how. Yeah. It, yeah, but let's see how this goes. I remember last time we found the we found the way the thing that makes this game worth it, and that's that bunyip that looks like a crab. Mm hmm. All right. Where are we? Oh, just back at the start. Yeah, we're at Buramoji. All right, what are what are our missions? I don't remember anymore. We did something important last time, and then nothing important followed. We're eighteen. Really? We're apparently eighteen percent complete. Test the new expander mental racing cart that the Redbacks have built. And prevent the Quinkin from amassing another attack. Where the frick do we go for this? Let's try this. Let's let's play the briefing. That might tell us where to go on the map. That Redback gang is still missing, mate. You what better find them all these? their mums go crazy. Apparently. That was literally it. That, I swear. I mean, I, it's showing on the map that there's a red star, so let's go for it. I mean, yeah, nothing's here, so... No big deal there. Yeah. I don't think we've actually tried out, well, at least not much, the elemental bits of the, uh, rings, really, have we? Well, apart from putting the stones in there to make them work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the very least, we're a bit more powerful. All right, so we need to take the new buggy. Heck yeah. All right. Oh, Wait, I... since how many, what are all these extra stars? The map will tell us, right? Uh, maybe. Then again, it could be like a worse version of the last game. So I guess green definitely looks like the two things that are actually on our list to do, but... Why can't yeah, we just use a... this thing all the time? They can take out Quinkin really easy. Because <laughs> then the game would be shorter than it already is. Windy Plains. And everything points to this game being... Uh... Sh at quite short possibly so oh hello dinosaurs this is the gang good night guys hey have you seen a bunch of little kids playing with some toy carts kids toy carts let out yeah they got a cute little name for their playgroup they call themselves the redback gang huh. cute playgroup we're the Red Pack Gang! Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's just that your families are worried about you. You might want to think about heading home. Listen here. Shut up, Red Pack Jack. Listen here. No one tells Red Pack Ross what to do. But I got an idea. We've just built this experimental cart. Yeah, it's totally sick. It's got shock-resistant shockies, turbo turbines, don't forget the nuclear-powered steering, Redback Thorn. We're not even sure if it's drivable. What? I've heard this voice before. Death for us. Sounds like fun. I'll have a crack at it. Deal. Okay, so like that that fat one in the middle. I mm -hmm. swear, I swear, his voice is the same one as the red guy from Cow and Chicken. 
No chance in hell. But it sounds they could be exactly similar. the same. Why would someone from Ke- why would they be in this game? Why not? Why would they be one of the stupid redback gang? Again, why not? They played the red guy on Cow and Chicken. Exactly, which is like actually a hang on roll. Okay, a, a video of mine just started to. Why? Cause... Oh yeah, because it was processing. Yep, that was my fault. <laughs> that might just get cut out. Anyway, seriously though. Why? I swear it sounded exactly like him. They would have to pay him money, though. I mean, that's not exactly a hard thing, considering they made three of these games. Yeah, it is. These games are cheap as hell. Okay, well, still, you'll, you'll, have, you'll have to wait and hear it, but I swear it's the same guy. Was, was the guy from Cow and Chicken Australian? I don't know, but it didn't sound it here. So, all, so this is an actual race now. Okay. Awesome. Whatever. I love actual races. I can't believe I'm already in first place. I, right this is moving by really, really fast for no good reason. Yeah, and it, but it's it, it, I'm catching up really quickly. No, you're in the lead. I mean, I'm catching on. Oh, okay. Every once in a while, like, maybe two guys pass you, but... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, they're just right on top of each other. If you win this on the first try, considering that you basically hit, like, every wall possible... I mean, that'll be... That's... That'll be impressive. You did. That's it. <laughs> that race was 50 seconds long. I know, right? That was crazy. Is is seriously is the Redback yeah, Gang just called the Redback awesome. Gang because they're all but named Redback? You're all right, mate. You gotta be kidding. You're not gonna give that little rat the prize, are you? I think he should get the prize. He's cute. He gets the prize, but that's it. Now get out of here before I change my mind. Yeah, that is totally him. That is totally the guy. Hi, mate. We just received word that the Quinkin are regrouping for another attempt on New Baramudgee. This time they're being led by the Quinkin commander. You've got to take him out, and I don't mean for dinner. Oh, are they implying something there? Anyways, uh, so I assume you're looking it up now, aren't you? Yes. This is making me angry. Well, meanwhile, I'm gonna travel to the next area. It is. I swear to God, that makes no effing sense. It is the only video game on this list of things that he's voiced that doesn't have its own freaking Wikipedia page. It is that sad, but you were 100% right. It's Charlie Adler. <laughs> I knew it sounded exactly like him. That is absolutely nonsensical that they stuck him in that role. We'll never hear him again. Unless they bring back the red gang, the redback gang. It's just so wild. But clearly he didn't have to do like a new voice or anything. Not at all! I am not doing well. You, all you have to do is run. You do... I do what need the to hell go is that? I do need to go back that other way, though. What is the counter for? Now it's gone. Why was the counter there? I don't know. I don't know what counter you're talking about. This is 0 out of 20. You didn't see that? No. I, I, I must have looked off at the map or something. It had some kind of like skull design, I think. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what you did specifically to make that come up, because it didn't seem like a mission or anything. Oh wait, I know what it is. How many Quinkin are left in the map? I thought you've been killing them. That's what it's I have. Zero. I don't know. I 
I don't know what is up with it. Yeah, it's definitely something new. Oh wait, if you die in this, doesn't it just put you back exactly where you were? Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. So you can just run across the map with reckless abandon. Well, I know what to draw for this uh, thumbnail. Red guy. Uh-huh. But dressed as that dinosaur. Oh, but then he's... Wait, does that mean he has to wear pants? Uh, true. <laughs> oh. Wait, can I even get over there? I mean, seriously. Can you walk through the foot? No, that's a wall, isn't it? Fake one, but... Oh. I am a moron. I can't see the map well enough to help, unfortunately, but hey, if you're going... If this, this is working out, then I'll just let you, let you keep going. That's one of the things I really wish they would fix about Discord, because the other night when I was playing with Roma, he couldn't read any of the text on the game that we were playing. It... It just depends on the moment, you know? Yeah. Right now I can read everything, because, well, it's really big. It's But the map, on the other hand, is like, uh... You know, it's stuck in a corner, and if it if the game drops to like 144 frickin' pixels or something, then... Oh, by the way, I can run people over. It. I would hope so. You missed it. I did? Yeah, yeah. I did. You're supposed to keep going down. Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe I can see better than I thought. Where is the star? Should be right there. here. Something to do with the uh, glowing crap in that direction? Well, so. Ah! Oh, there he is. Hey, it's Sly! So, bro, you ready to jump out of a speeding jet, riding a three-ton mechanical bunyip to battle the Quinking Commander, a vicious fighting machine that we know nothing about, who is threatening an entire town? So right! Okay, then. Sly, look, Sly looks a lot better when he's ready to fight something. He doesn't look like he's eaten glue in the last hour. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, as this game started out really annoying, but it's actually becoming rather rather fun. I wonder when that fun's gonna go away. Cause after Hope all, this game isn't rated highly, is it? Not as far as I've seen. But then again, I've just seen internet reviewers, so like, they're not always accurate. So, what is the... are you just walking around here? Do you just have to kill everything? I guess. I mean, all Sly said that was we had to get to a town and beat up the Quinkin commander. Okay. Sure. Wait, what? Were we not allowed to kill any of them? Not until the cutscene, apparently. Ugh. But nothing happened in the cutscene. Yeah, that's there's no kind reason. Of, there's no reason for that cutscene to exist. <laughs> All it did was just... Ah, uh, it made things cheap. Another thing that I like is that the, the things no longer exist I mean, no longer stop existing so quick. In the last game, you had to pick them up right then and there, or they were gonna be gone in like two seconds. But now, they just like... They're useful. 
for once. They don't toy with you. Oh boy. What, we can't go down the ice slide? Fire. Wait, it just, it shows the same scene of freaking Ty just looking at them. Blankly. You think they'd be a little bit more, I don't know, um, uh, emotion, a little more emotion to seeing these things come up? At the very least, an eye squint. I still am baffled, like, how this game refuses to understand how counting works. You killed four things, and then it started counting down. Maybe I have to kill them myself instead of knocking them over. Nope, knocking them over works. It's just that the first four weren't good enough. Yeah, now they, now they are. Why don't you just start the count at 14? I don't know. Oh, I get it. They take a long time to die down there. They have so much health that they're taking forever to die in the lava. Oh, oh huh. Maybe they should just have less health then. What? Okay, I swear to God. Are you absolutely kidding me? What is the point of these uh, cutscenes? <laughs> Hey, did you see the monsters ahead of you? Yeah, well, here's a cutscene to remind you they're there. That's the, that, right now. That's just my only pet peeve. I can these monsters are dying really easily, but the, the asinine of uh, cutscenes is what gets me. Uh, I'm sure it'll be much more soon enough. Did they at least add dialogue? No. Require work. You can't talk to the quick, and that's cheating or something. Either that, or they can't talk. They may be a non-verbal species. Can't break that egg. Oh God, you're ugly. Oh, you know what this reminds me of and in a bad way? What? Mr. Friendly, the cut monster from Half-Life. <laughs> At least this guy doesn't look like he's gonna hump me to death. By the way, was there a cutscene before you started fighting him Th that I missed? There was not. Why? Why would they leave out the cutscene for the actual plot? Ah, uh, it's minor things, but it's just like... It's not... It doesn't make logical sense. Don't you agree, though, that this guy looks like Mr. Friendly? Yeah. The arm tentacles really sell it. For some reason, someone wrote out. Oh my gosh. Wait. What's what's going what? on? Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I found the Wikipedia page for this game. Someone wrote out. Okay, first of all, first things first. The Game Boy Advance version is, has a different plot than this version, but you'll never get this. Someone wrote out like 10 paragraphs of the plot for the Game Boy version and two for the console version slash PC. That makes no sense. It, how is that backwards? 
I, either someone was so excited about the handheld version that they just either that broke for hours. This is the longest plot I've ever seen. I guess the Game Boy version is better. Haha, <laughs> you did it. I, Those Quinkin won't mess with us again. Weird. And with that Quinkin commander gone, I think we've seen our last threat to New Barabaji. Gee, I hope so, Sly. I've got a funny feeling I'll be back here soon. Oh, Lord. <laughs> also, I, I should probably wait to see if anything happens. No. It's worse than I feared. Until now, we'd only heard of the Quinkin attacking New Baramaji. But we've started getting reports of devastation from all over Southern Rivers. We can't get help to anyone, though, because of this big meanie they call Hexaquin. Hexaquin? He thinks he runs the place and won't let anyone leave the area. Could you go and show him that I'm the one in charge? Why don't you go? I think it'd be a nice offering. You know why. Yeah, I know, because he's a big, big bitch. Okay, I'm gonna get. I, I'm gonna ask a question here, and you're gonna love the answer to this. Where do you think the plot for the console slash PC version of this game stops on Wikipedia? Um, after the battle we just had with Mr. Friendly? No, after the intro section where we left the dreaming. Of course. As soon as you get back to Southern Rivers, at least according to Wikipedia, there's no more plot. <laughs> Lovely. And what about the Game Boy Advance version? How it's different true. is it? That's a good... Uh, you know what? I'll take a peek and I'll let you know. It, and let me know if it sounds like it's better or not. Because there's got to be a reason why someone would write ten paragraphs. Versus two. No, so far everything's actually on track. In fact, there's a sentence here that says, Dennis informs Ty that a powerful Quinkin guardian known as the Hexaquin is blocking Bush Rescue's access to their parts of the Southern Rivers. Okay, well, I mean, that's accurate. But there's gotta be something that, that tells us why they would write so much for, um, for the Game Boy Advance version and not for the console version slash PC. I just can't tell. Especially if they are actually the same game in this part, and the Wikipedia page is just lying about the differences. So I finally found out what's been blowing me up. Apparently I've been missing seeing the mines on the road. Not like they actually affect you in any meaningful way. Yeah. Besides, you know. It's not... Kind of... I mean, that's, that's one of the game's Faults, in my opinion. Shouldn't I just be transported back to Burramudgy? I mean, I get that it's convenient, but that doesn't make it right. If if death is meaningless, then what's stopping me? Good point. And the music got ominous. Are we just going right into the Hexaquin mission? Is that what's going on? Yeah, basically. Uh, and there is the body beast. I still love how you can always see him before the enemy comes. The only other time I've had something like that is when I managed to see the Skiffazoa ahead of time on the Code Lyoko game. Who dares approach my gate? I'm Ty, and that's not your gate. It belongs to the people of Southern Rivers. I'm going through. You will cross over to the other side soon enough, Ty. Oh, oh no, a giant monster we I haven't seen before. No. The gate. What? Oh, Lord. Oh, wait, are the buttons what I have to do? Because otherwise, this just seems like a Crash Bandicoot level. Good point. And the problem is you can't see the buttons until a millisecond before they're there. Ah. Wait. What is that supposed to do? 
Are you supposed to drop the gate on to the monster? Um, cause now... Or are we just supposed to... Yeah, cause we're not, it's not losing health. But we yeah. are. Oh, flip. Yep, that's what we're supposed to do. The timing of that is going to be a bitch. As well as aiming. But so far, so good. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Stage two. What in the hell is this? What if Ty were one millimeter long and you still had to play the game? <laughs> Isn't that fun? What? Having... Just split into two. Are you playing jump rope? Apparently. Oh, hey, you can't attack it. We have to wait till it's split up and after the jump rope section? Fine. We interrupt this episode of... of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger 3 to bring you Dark Souls! How much jump roping is in Dark Souls? I'm talking about the difficulty of this. Oh, really? I would nah. equate it to Dark Souls, yes. Why? It's not... Joe, I may be doing well, but this is not exactly easy. Well, none of those missile things can hit you. All you actually have to dodge is the giant red thing in the center. Yes, but it's a bitch! Well, it is when you jump immediately on top of it. Oh, never mind. You're on stage three, so it worked out! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean Dark Souls. I meant Cuphead. Uh, Dark Souls is harder. Okay. Yes, but uh, the, but this play is like Cuphead, but just in a 3D plane. That's Dark Souls. Okay, so Dark Cuphead. Now just Dark Souls. Dark Souls Cuphead Edition. This is nothing like Cuphead. Running and running and shooting at a beast that has. Three stages? Yeah, nothing like Cuphead. You can't run away in Cuphead. Have you ever seen Cuphead? I've beaten Cuphead. You can't run away. You've beaten Cuphead. Yes. Fantastic. Not alone, but yes. The whole point is that... Yeah, that's fine. Sure, will just go and, and back. Yep, third stage. Yep, third stage of the game. So, um, while I continually die on this thing, um, who's your favorite Cuphead boss? And I'm talking like just the main bosses where you get soul contracts. Oh yeah, I know. Wait, what other, what other bosses are there? Dude, how many bosses did you actually fight? There's like... It's like 20 of them, isn't it? Yeah, something like that, but who's your favorite? Give me a second. Favorite in what way? Favorite as in aesthetically pleasing. Which one do you like the most, based on design? I'm thinking. There are a lot. I and can also... name my two right now. I've got a tie between Baroness Von Bonbon and Grim Matchstick. The Medusa one. Oh, so, um, Cala Maria? Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, you missed your... Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. I haven't missed it yet. Out. Only when his organs show up. Oh, I... Oh, there! Oh, nice. So, that's it. Oof. 
Hexa win. Yes, we did it. Now we can get through to Why the rest of the Why is Chaz here to start with? You did it, Possum. You're so brave <sighs> and manly. Oh, come on, Chaz. You're pretty manly too. Uh, I mean, girl, oh, for I mean, I, I, I like you. Oh, die. Come on, Possum. <laughs> we should go check out the area past the gate. Meet me at Dead Dingo Marsh. Kai, you better hurry up. Chaz is waiting for you at Dead Dingo Marsh. There's something she wants you to see. Oh, God. Ty, you you really put your foot in your mouth this time. <laughs> that sounds like a Ty thing. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he's uh -huh. not good at dating, apparently. Well, he's lucky that there's, like... Actually, no. Yeah, yeah, the, the, there's he's... only, like, one female character. <laughs> Wait, so... is this not where I'm supposed to be? Is it supposed to be on the yep. other side? What do you mean? I mean the 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 star is here. For what? Not a real mission, is it? It's yeah, it's the next mission. Go see Shaza. I guess I guess oh, it's on the other side, isn't it? But we'll see what Shaza wants next time. So thank cool. y'all for watching this episode of Tide 3 Night of the Quinkin. If you liked it, leave me a like. If you're new around here, subscribe. Go check out Joe's channel. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, Rick. I'm JFK from Clone High. And I am telling you to subscribe to the Geeky Skunk Gamer and his friends, GeoJoe2000 and uh, uh, LuigiFan891.